But the, the results weren't quite as bad for the government as, as uh, most people had predicted. And I think Uxbridge was clearly a, a surprise, uh, but showed how the Labour Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan's uh, insane ULES tax on almost everyone, uh, is so unpopular. But the problem with, the problem with Uxbridge and South Ryslip is that it's, it's not as though the Tories... No. Won it? No. It's Sadiq Khan lost it. Lost it, it exactly. Labor. Well, of course, the Tories lost in Selby. And again, in Selby, there was a very small turnout. Um, th there were 33,000 voters in Selby. And in the general election, there were 56,000. And that made that, uh, that, although the government would, of course, use the excuse that Conservatives stayed at home, um, but then nevertheless, there is some evidence to point to that. And I think, though, the problem is that Labour may have peaked too soon. They, they're way ahead in the polls, even though no one knows what their policies are, least of all Keir Starmer, who changes his mind every five minutes. Um, so they, they may have peaked too soon. And if Rishi Sunak does what some of the papers are saying and actually does this forcefully, go back to proper conservative values, things like cutting taxes, looking at doing, stopping immigration, illegal immigration especially, mm -hmm. in the way he said he could. Mind you, he's being stopped at almost every turn by uh, either uh, cabals of civil servants or the House of Lords, which is predominantly not conservative. Um, so he's struggling to get things through. And we've only got a year to go. A lot of people expected him to do a cabinet reshuffle this weekend, which he's not going to do and said he's not, which I think is right, because actually there's really very little point in shuffling the deck when they haven't got time to achieve anything. And a year may be a long time in politics, but it's a very short time in government. Mm. There's very little that they can actually get done. But they've got to be trying to do the popular things with Conservative voters if they're going to have any chance of, of, of um, stopping Labour winning. And, of course, the Lib Dems, who did well in Somerset, traditionally the South West is a great area for the Lib Dems. And even though people might wonder who are the Lib Dems, no one knows about any of their policies. I'd be surprised if anyone could name them. Uh, and uh, Ed Davey, who leads the party... Um, it, it, people forget he was the, when he was in government, he was the minister for the post office and oversaw the biggest uh, miscarriage of justice in this country over the sub postmasters. And who did he report to? The business secretary, who was another Lib Dem, Vince Cable. Cable. So um, I, I think we, the Lib Dems, though, are in danger of um, ruining the party for Rishi. Mm -hmm. And they're the biggest danger, I think, in the forth forthcoming election.